I recently received a comment on my channel from Everything Normal here, and he posted uh, two comments, and then he's obviously a new community member. He he says his question was, "Hey, please, could you make a tutorial for Virtual Box? The Virtual Box is for executing operative systems." I presume you mean operating systems from your operative system. You can download it from this link. Jo joist re remove the spaces on the address. And then it gives the address there. Um, uh, thanks for your question. Everything normal here. And um, I use VirtualBox. I used it to run Windows Seven, and I I use it to do my Windows XP, Windows Seven videos. And I'll boot that up and show you that later. Um, but yeah, this is the VirtualBox application. This is obviously the Mac host application and what virtual machines are is you can basically put other operating systems in a window on your existing operating system so when I do a Windows screencast what you're actually seeing is just a, a window that's zoomed in on my Mac desktop you're not actually seeing a Windows XP system so I use virtual machines all the time so the, it's just a virtual computer with some specs. So for, if we look at the Windows XP one, <coughs> for example, um, we've got the name on the OS, we've got the amount of RAM that you can designate, the amount of video memory, and information on the devices that are connected, information on the hard drives, and things like that. So, if I show you the the creation of a new, let's say, I wanted to run a bunch of Linux, for example, I could just select Linux Ubuntu and, and then give my new computer a name and you can do this with any operating system by the way so I'm just going to say Ubuntu and it tells us the recommended memory and here's the time when we have an opportunity to create a hard disk so you normally want to create a new one and just go through that process it would then appear there but I'm just going to give it no nothing to boot from and it tells me there so if I click finish and then how do I install my operating system well what I need to do is mount the CD so in VirtualBox what I do is I go to settings storage set the CD say mount CD or DVD and if you want to just put the CD in then you can select your drive there but if you want to boot from a file, you can do that there. Um, and then you're go. You're going to want to change the boot menu so that it boots from the CD first. So if you just drag that up there. Then that will boot from the CD, and once it turns on, you'll be able to start installing. 
So if I turn this on, you'll see that it will boot up like a normal computer, and it will say failed because there's no um, CD that I've mounted. But I'll just sh I'll just show you really quick. Um Um, if I boot up Windows XP for example which is a virtual machine that I already have stuff we can now see that our machine is booting Windows XP that's one that I already have set up so this was a demo of VirtualBox I'm talking about virtual machines hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching